Welcome to evening prayer here at St. John's on this Thursday evening. Staying with our theme of doors and gates, I remember today a story in the 12th chapter of Acts that has a wonderful little piece in it that always makes me smile. Peter has been thrown into prison for his testimony to the Christ, and the story begins with the middle of the night, an angelic presence comes into his cell where he is chained to the guards and taps him on the side, wakes him up, and frees him from the chains, tells him to get um, his coat on, and this angelic presence leads him through one gate after another, and finally the gates to the city open before them, unhindered, and then the angelic presence leaves Peter, and he sort of comes to himself, sees where he is, and knows where to go next. He goes to the home of a woman named Mary, and he knocks on the gate, and a slave girl whose name is Rhoda comes to the gate, and she sees that it's Peter, and she is so excited that she forgets to open the gate but instead turns around and runs back into the house to announce that Peter is at the gate. Meanwhile, he stands there knocking at the gate until finally someone believes Rhoda and comes out and lets him in. And he stands then and gives his testimony to the power of the risen Christ to free him, to open the gates to freedom for him. At the end of the day, it is a good time to think about what gates, what doors God has opened for us today. Perhaps God has opened a door that allowed us to leave a place where we are imprisoned by hatred or by despair or by fear. But we know it is God's power that has opened the door, opened the gate to freedom and now to this evening's rest. I invite you into prayer. This prayer we've been using all week because it is so deep and beautiful. O oh God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance, where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination, where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthened dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Receive this blessing, the peace of the Father of joy, the peace of the Christ of hope, the peace of the Spirit of grace, the peace of all peace be yours this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for praying with me tonight. Rest well. Good night.